the search for alien life is one that's fascinated many researchers, and news has just been announced that scientists have made a breakthrough. Scientists have just said that signs of alien life has been discovered on Venus. The researchers go into detail that a rare molecule has been detected in the clouds of Venus, telling us that colonies of living microbes could be thriving and living in the planet's atmosphere. The surface of Venus is known to be too harsh to sustain life, or life as we know it, having a temperature exceeding over 460 degrees. Due to this, it's caused researchers to overlook Venus. However, they've now said they're looking towards the planet's atmosphere. It's here that the conditions are much more favourable for life. Professor Jane Greaves of Cardiff University made the incredible discovery of phosphine gas. These exist in the clouds, and it's interesting to note that this is a molecule which is produced on our planet. Professor Greaves said the following about the incredible discovery. This was an experiment made out of pure curiosity, really taking advantage of JCMT's powerful tech. I thought we'd just be able to rule out extreme scenarios, like the clouds being stuffed full of organisms. When we got the first hints of phosphine in Venus's spectrum, it was a shock. Through my whole career I've been interested in the search for life elsewhere in the universe, so I'm just blown away that this is even possible. But yes, we are encouraging other people to tell us what we might have missed. Our paper and data are open access. This is how science works. Dr. Baines said the following about the interesting discovery. In principle, a more water-loving life could hide itself away inside a protective shell, and this could be inside the sulfuric acid droplets. We are talking bacteria surrounding themselves by something tougher than Telvon and completely sealing themselves in. But then how do they eat? How do they exchange gases? It's a real paradox. Oxford University's Dr. Colin Wilson said this discovery is fascinating, and will most likely bring more attention to Venus. With hopefully more tests being carried out in regards to these signals. He said the following, It's really exciting and will lead to new discoveries. Even if the original phosphine detection were to turn out to be a spectroscopic misinterpretation, which I don't think it will, I think life in Venus's clouds is so unlikely that we'll find other chemical pathways of creating phosphine in the atmosphere, but we'll discover lots of interesting things about Venus in this search. It seems that at this moment in time it's still early days, and that more tests will need to be carried out in order to get to the bottom of this mystery. It seems, however, that 2020 is still full of surprises. As of today, various space agencies have done a great job at detecting possible locations where life could exist. One of these places is that of Trappist-1, and the many exoplanets it holds. Discovered within the Trappist-1 system that made headlines from all around the world, Trappist-1d was one of the many exoplanets found orbiting a star very similar in heat and size to our own that led many scientists to believe that many of the planets orbiting around the Sun to be Earth-like, and ideal for future colonisation of our solar system. The most exciting prospect of this discovery was not only the planets, but rather the distance the system is from our own solar system, being only a mere 39.6 light years away from us, making it an interstellar neighbour with a much easier point of access. In fact, previous efforts and developments of space technology such as that of the Orion nuclear-powered spacecraft could see the journey to Trappist-1 system met in as little as one generation of passengers and accomplished in a short 60 years. This very well means that efforts could be started right now to begin interstellar colonisation, with current space technologies without any additional stress of developments already being performed. The Trappist-1d planet in orbit around the sun-like star of the Trappist system also appears to be cooler than that of our own Earth, and far richer in composition of precious metals, a rocky surface at low gravity for takeoff, and an atmosphere filled with dense water vapour for colonisation efforts. However, given the planet's size, mass and density, it's theorised to have a weak electromagnetic field which would not help to shield colonisation efforts from damaging cosmic radiation, 
which is also seen on our neighbouring planet Mars. But even if the planet turns out to be incompatible with future colonisation efforts, once the passengers arrive at their destination, it can be easily used for resources to build megastructure bases capable of supporting human life, and assist in the efforts of terraforming and colonising the other neighbouring planets nearby. The closest neighbour to the TRAPPIST-1D planet, TRAPPIST-1C is the single most best candidate for future human colonisation efforts, that requires next to no additional research developments in the realm of colonisation. The short distance of the interstellar neighbour, along with all the resources that can be gathered by the neighbouring planet, is only the first bullet point as to why TRAPPIST-1C is a prime candidate for colonisation. Back in 2016, researchers have found the planet has a temperature that is very similar to Earth, with a maximum surface temperature of 140 degrees, a temperature seen in areas on Earth such as Death Valley. Additionally, TRAPPIST-1C has a gravitational force that is 97% equal to that of Earth's, making it habitable for long-term endeavours without risk to the health and wellness of colonisers, as well as a mass large enough to support a strong electromagnetic field that can shield colonisers from cosmic radiation. This makes it a prime environment worthy of colonisation efforts, as the size, atmosphere, electromagnetic field, a mass of the planet seems to be an almost perfect mirroring of our very own planet. Recent research also believes the planet to have a rich atmosphere of water vapour, that could potentially see the planet slightly cold enough to have surface temperatures similar to Earth. As of right now, there's various places scattered across our universe that could hold life. Places like Enceladus are of interest, with researchers open to the idea of there being life currently on the moon. One of the issues that scientists now face is trying to conduct further tests to back up their claims. It's certainly an exciting time for space exploration, and it seems every year scientists and researchers make incredible discoveries that gets us one step closer to answering the big question, are we alone in the universe? So what do you make of these recent discoveries, and do you think life exists within the clouds of Venus? Also, what do you make of the many exoplanets that have been discovered close by? Do you think they could hold complex life? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.